So, but for the balance of plant, uh, clearly you have to think of the inverter. Uh, that is a contributor uh, to the overall cost picture. And for Synfirm, the balance of plant, as we heard, is roughly around between 50% and 45 to 50% of the overall cost of the system. So it is something that you want to manage. Uh, the mechanical installation is a major contributor to cost reduction in our view over the next years. There's still a lot of improvement that can be done. You can argue whether there may be a little more on the inverter side and a little less on the mechanical installation side. I mean, those are uh, scenarios uh, everybody can, can play. But overall, um, there should be around 20% cost reduction potential in that. We weigh the mechanical installation a li little higher just because we also believe that a lot of those cost reduction potential is coming from further increases in efficiency um, and improvements on our product that will help to cost reduce the balance of system side. Because as we heard, the other piece of the picture is that materials on that balance of plant get more expensive. So you have to keep, uh, keep those things in check. Um, electrical installation uh, optimization potential there project cost, overhead costs. Overall, we think that by 2012, we can uh, hopefully take out between 30 and 40% of the balance of plant cost through in innovations on those components and the way we do those installations, as well as through improving uh, the module itself. Now, these numbers are all uh, looking at large power plants. Same would, in our view, not apply to roofs and small roofs in the same way. Um, because here you, you have to look at scaling effects of standardization on balance of plant, similar to what we, we have done on the product side in modules. All right, looking at uh, summarizing this and uh, talking about uh, changing the paradigm. So I believe we're still at the very beginning of the solar industry here. So we, we are very far from any finish line you can envision. So looking at, uh, at an early stage um, industry, I think it's an appropriate example to maybe compare to, to uh, the Ford Model T at the time when, when looking at what have we done as for solar. So in that comparison, the Model T, I mean, most people know this was, um, the great thing about the Model T was what the owner said is you can have it in every color as long as it's black, right? So yes, it's the same with our product. There is only one product. The trick here is extreme standardization. Um, there's a, it's a frameless glassless laminate, has one format, has one uh, set of efficiencies, properties wrapped around it. It's sellable all over the world with the same certificates, applies to all the product. Very same model here. So it gets you into scale and it, it helps you to standardize a lot of processes around the product as well manufacturing processes most of all. The other one that goes along with that is you got to manage the production process. Now Ford managed to reduce what was the common time for manufacturing an automobile from around 730 minutes-ish to around 93. That was his big innovation. When we look at um, uh, our Synfirm process, comparing that with uh, crystalline product and crystalline process, you have about the same ratio. It's quite interesting. You go from 24 to around three hours. So factor of eight-ish. Um, and um, then, of course, one of the big things was make it available. Uh, you got to create markets. And, um, and what Ford did at the time with this car is he reduced the average price from a around $1,000 to 360, making it available to more people, increasing the, the available market. And I think that's something we have to do as well. Uh, with the reduction of PV, we have to break into new markets. We have to uh, look at the right applications for that when we do these things. Not everybody will be at the beginning of the market. These markets will change and evolve. We think a good starting point here are large power plants in order to get into standardization, get the cost curve run down efficiently, um, and, um, and do what we have to do, standardize around the plant. And the last one is, um, uh, at that time, Ford was uh, quite also an innovator on other fronts. Um, not only you know, setting up petrol station, creating an infrastructure, which I'm not going to cover here, but um, he actually did something for the workforce with a very good program on salaries, compensation, packages, those things. Uh, at First Solar, we certainly believe that PV and, and we as First Solar provide high-tech jobs in the high-tech industry. 
that uh, are a perspective for, uh, for the countries in which these locations, these production locations are. And so providing also a lot of social benefits uh, to uh, the community, uh, which is another benefit of, of uh, PV that we should not forget about. Thank you very much. I'm going to close with this nice picture of what is a 25 megawatt plant now and is going to be a 40 megawatt plant maybe by the end of this year. Thanks for your attention.